Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the another filtering operator that is distinct until changed. In the previous video, we have learned about this distinct operator. So distinct operator, what it will do? It will give you the distinct values in the, from the source observable. Now, what is this distinct until change? If you open this operator, details of this operator, we, we are not able to find any details, right? So here distinct until change, what is this distinct until change we will do is for this reason I have created one PPT, yeah, let's present distinct until change. What is this distinct until change we will do is distinct until change emits all items emitted by the source observable that are distinct by comparison from the previous item. So that means it will check only the previous item. If the previous item and the current item is Oh, is same means then it will skip the, then only it will skip so that means it will check only the previous item only that is the difference between distinct until distinct and distinct until change distinct will check from the entire source observable it will give only the distinct items but distinct until change it will give only it will check only the with the previous item distinct until change only emits when the current value is different than the last value last value means then the previous value then only it will emit if it is different means then the current value is different from the last from the previous value only then only it will emit if the current value and the previous value is same means it will not emit the data now here is the marble diagram so if you try to see the marble diagram here we are having something like the source observable so at the top is the source observable and the source observable is emitting the values 1 2 2 1 3 okay let's assume that now here distinct until change operator is applied now if you try to see 1 the 1 is emitted so 1 it will go and 1 will be displayed why because it is the first uh, first item and now next is the second one now the what is the 2 we will check is 2 will check with the previous item previous item is 1 and the, five, and the 2 is the sec current one now the, these both are different so that is the reason 2 will be emitted now the third item 2 will come so now it will this one will check with the previous item only with the previous item if the previous item means 2 and 2 these both are equal so this one will be a, skipped off so this one will not be emitted to the output observable now it will now the comes the fourth uh, fourth value that is one one will be checked with the previous one so with the previous value if it is checked means these both are not equal then it will be emitted you now you need to understand that one is already emitted first time first time only one is already emitted now here one is not distinct right so but it will not but but here it will be still it will be processed to the output observable why because here one it with the distinct until change only checks with the previous item it will not check with the entire series of the items emitted by the source observable it will check only with the previous item only that is the main difference what is the main thing you need to understand in the distinct until change now the now comes the last item so last item will be checked with the previous item so it is not both are not equal then it will be emitted so this is the distinct until change so distinct until change uses triple equal to comparison by default object references must match so if you are having two objects also references must match so it will be using triple equal to comparison so this is the distinct until change let's try to do it in the practical i will show you and another one what i want to show you is here it will take two two parameters one is a comparator comparator what is this comparator means so it will take the previous value and the fun and the current value will be we, we will be getting it as parameters and you can if you want to do the any uh Comparison check means you can do uh, not only the triple equal to you can check with the greater than equal to or something like that you can also check and uh, and last one is a key selector this is also an optional so if you want to check with this uh, when you are having an object object means so if you want to check a particular key selector means you can use this key selector this is a uh, completely optional but actually until key change you will be using this another operator is there until key change that one also we can use it but we will see with this distinct until change so we will see with the both the parameters we will try to see let's create the component ng ng gc distinct until changed operator okay i am creating this one so let's try to add uh, what i can say in the operators.html file i am adding distinct until changed okay and here i can use distinct until changed so this is the operator and let's go to the app routing module and here i am having distinct until changed and here i can use distinct until changed operator component okay i have copied here and let's go to the distinct until changed operator here we are having 
now if first one is so first we will check with the off so let's take the off and i'm having a values 1 comma 2 comma 2 2 comma 1 comma 3 okay i'm having this values so if i do the subscribe of data so let's console.log data this is the subscription and here i am adding the pipe operator in this pipe operator what will try i want to use distinct until distinct until changed where is this one distinct until changed okay so this is the thing i am using distinct until changed that's it so now if you try to see if you apply this operator distinct until change what will try to what will be the expected output here the expected output is 1 will be displayed as an output here so here i can write something like output 1 will be displayed and the 2 will be displayed and the second one 2 will be checked with the previous one so both are matching so it will not it will be skipped off and here 1 1 will check with the previous one okay it is matching so then 1 again it will be it is not matching 1 will be displayed and last one is the 3 3 will be matched with the 1 so it it will be matching uh, it will be not matching so what i can do here 3 will be displayed that's this that is the output so let's try to see so if we try to show you the output let's go to the operators let's go to the inspect element console and here if i do distinct until change and 1 2 1 3 so this is the output we have got right and here also we have checked the output 1 2 1 3 the same output we have got here 1 2 1 3 so that means it will take it will check with the only previous operator only so here if i am having again one means then what will be the output the same output it will be so here the same output 1 2 1 2 1 3 only and here if i am having something like 3 comma so then what will be the output 1 2 1 3 1 3 you will be getting the output something like 1 see 1 2 1 3 1 3 why because these are alternatively it is there so it is not matching with the previous one here so 1 3 and 1 3 these are both are alternately previous and matching this is the distinct until change so for example if i want to apply it uh, for, for example if you are having something like uh, of of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay i am having values like this and i will subscribe to this data i will show you one output okay one scenario console.log data okay i can what i can do is i can comment out this one now i want to apply pipe operator here so distinct until changed so if i apply 1 2 3 4 you will get an output of 1 2 3 4 fine now i will use the custom comparison so i don't want to check equality comparison i want to check something like uh, some other thing so what i can do is here first one you will be getting as a previous comparator i am using comparator so current you will get another one is a current so here i can do like this and here what i need to do so here previous uh, current one okay current one so return current one current one is equal to is equal to previous plus one i will use uh, something like this okay so let's see what will be the output so here what i am doing current value current value means for example see one one will be displayed as an output so when you take this second value so you will be getting the previous value as one and the current value as two so it will check the com comparison in such a way that current value 2 is equal to is equal to previous plus 1 that means 1 plus 1 2 it is matching so then then 2 will not be displayed so again this one will take the previous one 3 uh, current one 3 and the previous one it will become something like not a 2 so 2 is skipped off right so the previous one will become 1 again okay 1 is the previous one why because the previous one which is emitted so now if you try to check 3 current one 3 previous one 1 plus 1 it is 2 so then 3 will be printed why because it is not equal then 3 is printed so now previous one is the 3 and the current one is the 4 so now pre current is equal previous plus 1 means it both are matching so that is why reason so you will not get the output so here the output will be in a such a way that output will be 1 comma 3 so you will be you will be getting little bit confused but here if you try to see the output you will you will understand so 1 comma 3 is the output so why is this output coming i already told you right previous is the nothing but the value which is emitted here the previous value first time will be one it will be printed automatically there is no previous value second one when you are trying to print here the current value will become two okay here the current value will become two and the previous value emitted value it will become one okay so now one is equal to is two is equal to is equal to one plus one two matching so two will be skipped off now the previous value is still one only why because two is skipped off right so previous emitted value is one only so for that reason 3 plus 3 is will be checked 3 is equal to 
1 plus 1 it will check. So now 3 will be emitted. So 3 is a will be emitted, right? So when it when we take this current value as 4, the previous value emitted value is 3. So it will be taken as the previous value 3. So the for that reason you will be getting 1 comma 3. Okay, you will be expected the output will be something like you will be thinking expected output will be only one you can think, but expected value expected output will not be like this. So why? Because 1 comma 3. The emitted previous value is the emitted value. So that is the thing. Now another one what we can do is <coughs> let us take the object phenomena. So how we how can we check with the object? So control case comma C I am using like this and I, I am using something like let employees sorry employees is equal to I am having an array id is equal to 1 name is equal to leela okay let us assume like this and another one is the I am another one I can take id is equal to 2 and here I can write leela web dev or something like this and third one is the id is equal to 3 and I can use hi leela okay and here I can take something like and I can add id is equal to 2 leela something like this I will keep okay here we can use 3 we can use 4 now let us try to add the operator so here from we need to use the from here so from means so from employees I am sending the employees so if we go down yeah employees dot subscribe of data so I am doing the console dot log console dot log of data so I am using the console dot log of data what happened here yeah so console dot log of data and here I am applying pipe operator so here I can use distinct until changed operator so without any parameter I am using distinct until change so what could be the output let's try to see if I try to see the output here yeah so we are able to see Leela, Leela, and all those all the values have been printed. So if I try to keep here one, so both are re, both are same, right? So let's try to see whether the output will come something like that or not. But here it is not coming. Why? Because so we have already read that here reference should be matched. Okay. So we uh, so here I have shown you right in in our uh, what I what I can say here object reference must match. So here we are having two different objects. If we try to see here id1 and leela is a separate object and id1 leela is a separate object so both looking wise both are equal but the memory wise so it will be saved in a different memory location so that is the reason both are not equal it will be checking with the triple equal to okay if you try to see here i used this triple equal to comparison so that means triple equal to comparison means so both are not equal so now what i will try to do is again so here what i will try to do is for example, here let us have let emp is equal to I will use this id here okay, and I will use this emp here okay, comma and again I, I will use this emp. So both are same. So then, now let us try to see whether what, what could be the output you will get. Okay, so we, we cannot use it like this. So now I can use something like this. Yeah. So what is the output you are getting? Okay, I, I didn't use the comma. Sorry. Okay, so is this correct? So what is the error? Yeah, okay, okay. Here we have given semicolon. Yeah. Now here, so we are having both the employees. So here the employee, employee means it is the it is one object. So the both are located in the same memory location. Now let's try to see the output. Here see one one leela has gone away. So that means it should be in the same memory location. That is the thing. Okay, let's leave it. So we will copy this one like this directly so i want to show you that memory location so for that reason i have added now what i will do is now we use that comparator now here we will have the comparator something like first one is the previous and second one is the current so here i can check something like so here one one is matching and leela leela is matching right so here i can use leela uh, web dev like this and here i want to check with the id only so then I can use something like previous dot id is equal is equal to current dot id. Okay. So check with this one only. So here return, just return the value. Now let's try to see. Now what will happen? So Leela first one will come, Leela web dot id with 3, 4. 1, 3, 4, we need to get the id. Here we got the id 1, 3, 4. So it is checking with the comparators, uh, with the ids. For example, if I do something like uh, if I have here 2, 
and I have here Leela same thing like this. So both are same right but the IDs is different we are checking with the ID and here you will get an output something like 1, 2, 3, 4. So you distinct you will get distinct thing. Now if I want to check with the name means I can check with something like name and here you will have name okay. Now if you try to see name with, with name it is a name it is you giving you the unique one. So not, not unique one. So previous one it is matching. So for example if I have here Leela web dev be like this. So then 4 will come. 4 will come at a time. Why? Because so previous one it is not matching right. Now if I try to see the output 1, 3, 2, 4. 4 will come at a time. See? So that is the thing. Now you have a second parameter that is nothing but uh, what I can say is key selector. So you can have the key selector. So you can take the key selector. So you can send something like check key dot name. So you can give the key dot name so that here you should not use the current dot name or something like that. So here previous will become the name, the name property, the name value it will become and current will become like this. This is also the one and the same output you will be able to get. So if you mention the key selector, there is no need to mention dot name like this. So the previous will become the name. So if you mention here ID means this previous will become the ID and current will become the ID of that current object. So here the same thing it will be. Okay, so this is the distinct until changed. Here previous current little bit of confusion will be there but uh, simple only distinct until change first one is the comparator selector previous value and the current value it will check the comparison like this if you mention the selector uh, what is the key I need to check in the second parameter means there is no need to mention that key pro dot id that name here directly the previous value and the current value will be the id of that one value of that id okay hope you understood about this distinct until change so I will commit this value uh, commit this code in the respective branch 28 fn video or something like that so you can check the code here if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.